69 useful facts about trade lands. Firstly, I'd like to thank all of you for 300 subscribers, because that is poggers. Number one, trade lands was created by Na Narstein. Joe, aka JB, is British. Just like me, yeah. Number three, I am the greatest YouTuber to ever set foot in trade lands. Number four, I mean five. Number five, this is what the trade lands theme sounds like. Let me turn it up. This is a banging tune. This tune is banging. Number four, the Kraken is a mythical tr creature in trade lands, and you can spawn it over by Blackwind. Number six, fishing rods you lose one Jura per use, no matter the material that it's made of. Number seven, loyalty tokens can be used to pay for tax, and it gives you five, well, five loyalty tokens will give you 15,000 tax reserve. Number eight, onyx can, mine, can be mined at specific rocks at Freeport and at Cannoneer's Key with a gem pickaxe. Number nine, you need an angelic sapphire pickaxe. You need to be in an electro storm and you also need to be on a non-spawn island to be able to mine electro steel. Number 10, east storms used to look like this with purple lightning. Number 11, Inyola is a non-playable faction where junk ships were supposedly invented. Number 12. Nassau is the newest faction that has been added to the game. Spooky number 13. To catch marlins, you will need to be level 7 fishing and you have to go fish in open ocean. Number 14. This is the cape that could be obtained by completing the 2017 Christmas event. And it also leaves snow particles when you wear it. Number 15. Most ships in Trade Lands were developed by Birkeland. Number 16. This is MJ. You know, he's not cool, but you know how he could be cool? He could be one of the people who daily ping me in Trade Lands Common. That's how he could be cool. JK, you, you, you're cool. D don't worry, don't worry, bro. Don't worry. Number 17. The Kraken used to only be obtainable by completing the Dead Men Tell No Tales event, but you could still get this as soon as you reached level 10, and immediately crafted it. Number 18. Before Nova was revamped, there used to be a house where a Duracell battery was hidden inside of it. Number 19. There was a giant chessboard under the house in the basement in one of the houses in Freeport, and you can actually play chess there. Number 20, there used to be a fort at Fenwick that was built by the Inneolans but has been taken down in a new update. Number 21, Tuanite will be never obtainable again. Number 22, the Bingle Hopper is the most expensive ship in the game costing 2 million doubloons. Number 23, there used to be a disease spreading around trade lands called the Northern Cough and it could infect you if you stood on the same ship as someone who had it. Number 24, onyx is the most durable material. Number 25, lighter cannons will have more range than heavier cannons. Number 26, coal can only be mined at spawn islands like Nassau, Whitecrest, Nova, and Blackwind. And of course, Fort Verna. Number 27, two aliens are hidden inside of this rocket Blackwind, and you can access them in here. This also proves a very good hiding space since not everyone knows about this. Number 28, gems do extra damage. Onyx deals the most extra damage. Number 29, on the Trade Lands loading screen, a random tip will appear. Number 30, a great PVP weapon to use is a falchion. It costs 21 premium tokens, 25 metal and five wood to have it in this configuration. Number 31, each day you log in, you get one loyalty token. Number 32, Noble Hilts, they look like crayons. They really do. <laughs> yeah, this is mine, Ryan's, well, me and Ryan's crayon collection. Tallow candles are made out of 
fish oil and they will give off smoke. Number 34. Pressing M will show you a map of the whole Grand Isles and it will also give you a little marker which represents where you are and which way you're pointing. Number 35. The crossbow is the cheapest ranged weapon and it also fires bolts which are also really cheap to make. Number 36. This is what a tree looks like. Number 37. This is what a rock looks like and it also looks really good with the new retexture. Number 38. A mortar will always fire at its maximum range if you point it at 45 degrees. Number 39. Gems cannot be mined at Spawn Islands. Number 40. The Atlantis event took place from April 17th, 2018 to May 1st, 2018. Number 41. Only around 60% of players actually spawn in a ship when they play Trade Lands. Number 42. You can level up your main level by going trading. Number 44. Pressing V while sailing will give you a better view of your gunners and whether they have angle on the enemy or not. Number 45. This is what the new remodeled jail looks like at Fort Gallant in Nova. Number 46. Glowies cannot be used to collect bounties. Number 47. If you leave or reset during combat, this is considered combat logging. Doing so will get you jailed. Number 48. The shipwreck at Hallengard, which is over there, has recently been updated to the remodeled Atlas. However, the large map which showed the whole of Treeland's world has been replaced by a regular map of the Grand Isles. Number 49. It takes 10 seconds for you to reset your character. Number 50. Custom titles cost 300,000 doubloons. Number 51. After the recent re-changes with ships and cargo, the Fox is the beaver with an engine, but to make up for it, it has 3 less cargo at 15, whilst the beaver has 18 cargo. Number 52. There are free Nova flags at Nova Valreska. Number 53. Private servers cost 1,000 Robux. Number 54. Press F to slow down your ship. Number 55. Press R to speed up your ship. Number 56. As of March 23, 2021, the game received smooth waves. Number 57. Spy glasses have unlimited durability and uses. Number 58. You can slow down your ship by pressing R, but only if you sped up your ship in the first place by pressing F. Number 59. These rocks here are actually mineable. Number 60. Press W to start your ship. Number 61. Press S to stop your ship. When stopping or slowing down your ship, it will gradually change speed over time. Number 63. After the, the new lighting update, glowies and other, and other light sources will actually change well, we'll actually cast a shadow on you, and it looks pretty cool. Number 64. The chest's furniture item can be used to access your warehouse, no matter what house it's put in, even if you don't own the house. Number 65. There was once a time when resources such as oak and iron went for 30 per piece, and sometimes they even went for less. Number 66. When you first spawn your level 10 ship, you will get the captain badge and title. Number 67. When houses were new to the game, what we now know as tax was named rent. This didn't make sense, so it was changed from rent to tax. Number 68. Nova Baresca used to be called Verdantine, or Verdantine, depending on how you want to say it. And number 69. Here you are witnessing footage of me riding Joe's horse. And if you haven't already, you'd better start daily pinging me in TLO, TLO Common. I reply to them all the time, and I will also reply to yours. Soon, we'll take over TLO Common, and everyone will be one, one day will be daily pinging me.
shout out to these guys who are currently daily pinging me. They're pretty cool. I have them listed here. And of course, ESAT, who weekly pings me. Yet he pinged me twice this week, which is, you know, it's pretty cool. Anyway, also, if you feel like it, join my uh, Discord server. It's pretty cool. We have, um, it's, uh, well, it'd be nice to grow grow my Discord server because it's quite small. We've only got like uh, 40, 50 members. It'd be nice if we could get this up to, to maybe 100. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, thank you for watching. As always, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Hopefully, there'll be 400 subscribers next time.